Why? 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 My son is back to the incubator. First of all, I need to do a quick recap about my son's health condition. He is now 36 weeks. That means that he is eight months more or less. Basically, he is now one month before he is supposed to be born. So he's less one. He's obviously premature, and he's doing lot of things that a normal baby should not do yet. A normal baby should not do yet just because the body, the structure and everything is not ready, is not ready yet. Normally my son now should be inside my girlfriend's belly doing nothing, just grow, sleep and uh, relax and that's it. Instead my son is already eating by the mouth is already hearing sounds, loud sounds, is already seeing light, artificial and sunlight, is doing a lot of things while he shouldn't have any contact with the real world. He should be inside the man belly that is completely driven from the real world where he is now. Basically, he is doing many things that his body is not ready to do yet. That's why he's having problems. So, regarding problems, he has three main problems. The first one is First one, his digestive system, which is not uh, developed yet. That means that he cannot digest properly and that's why he keeps a lot of uh, gases inside his belly that he cannot, he don't know how to do, how to expel them. Uh, second one, he's anemic. That means that uh, he misses iron in, in his blood, which means that he, he's weaker than a normal baby. He's weaker and everything he does is like a big effort for him. Third one, the lungs. When he was born, his lungs were, were basically undeveloped. So today he still has problem with those. He is not breathing properly. That means that he cannot put enough oxygen inside his body. So this is his health condition so far. So why is back to the incubator? So well, four days ago, doctors decided that it was time for him to do some steps forward. Moving from the incubator to a normal children's bed, and stop the assumption of caffeine. The problem is that when you move uh, a baby, a premature baby, from the incubator to a normal children's bed, the baby has to do the effort to self-control his body temperature. So while in the incubator, the temperature is controlled, uh, is always at the same level. Uh, so your body doesn't have to do the effort to control the temperature. Outside the incubator, open air, you have to take control of your temperature. And also inside the incubator, you can adjust the amount of oxygen. So basically, there is, the machine can give more oxygen or less oxygen to the baby according to what he needs. At the same time, the same day, my baby stopped to receiving caffeine. Usually you give caffeine to premature babies in order to help them to keep their heart beating. Outside the mom belly, the premature baby is required to do a big effort in order to breathe, to live, etc. And all this reflects to the heart, which is the engine of the body. And, uh, and the premature baby heart is too weak and too young to do all this job. That's why doctors usually give caffeine to premature baby in order to help the, the, the heart to keep beating and not to stop. So cutting the caffeine to a premature baby, you ask him to do a step forward because you ask him, you ask him and his heart to keep beating alone. So let's recap another time. Three main problems for my son, oxygen, anemic and digestive system. Plus, three days ago, they cut caffeine and the incubator. Also, three days ago, doctors decided to, do, to make to him an exam for the ISIS. So basically these exams was in order to check the health condition of the ISIS. This is a regular test that they do to premature baby and they did it three days ago, uh, more or less the same time that they cut caffeine and the incubator. This exam is made by putting some medicine on the eyes of the baby. These medicines can also give secondary effects. In many cases the baby will get weaker and stressed for the next 24-48 hours. Unfortunately that's that's exactly what happened to our baby. Let's recap for the last time in order to answer to the question why my son is back to the incubator. Let's recap for the last time. He has three main problems, oxygen, anemic and the digestive system. Plus, 
they cut off the caffeine and the incubator. Plus, he did the eyes exams, which can give secondary effects. All these in the same short time, more or less three days ago. So after the exam, he started to get weaker and to suffer more and more. So we decided to talk with the doctor. So they came to us and we talked about the situation and we asked them, we told them that in our opinion, we should do something to stop this, this trend that was going down and down and down. They told us that if you want your premature baby to grow and to become better and better, you need to let him solve his problem alone. To make an example, if you want to help him with the iron, you can give him uh, iron supplements. But if you give him supplements, uh, his body will, will, will not be pushed in order to create iron itself because he's getting an um, artificial iron. So his body say, why should I produce iron myself it can, if I can get from outside? This is the, basically the reason why they try not to help the premature baby too much. At the same time, we need to make sure that he's not suffering too much. Because if he's, if he's, if he's starting to suffer too much, he will be weaker and, and weaker and the probability to get sick is very very high you know this is the game that doctor that doctors are playing with the premature baby's health they need to push him in order to grow in order to develop all their body and everything but at the same time they need to help him to do that and they cannot help him doing everything for them but they need to let them solve their problem alone so we were discussing this we were discussing when is the point that you need to help him and when is the point when you can let him go and suffer <clears throat> so me and my girlfriend we had an idea and we said okay we cannot give him iron now we cannot uh, give him some medicine for the belly it's better not to so what can we do blah, blah, blah. after talking about this me and, and my girlfriend we got the idea to put him back to the incubator in in order to help him to breathe. So basically inside the incubator, as I told you, there is a, an oxygen control. If he receives oxygen from the machine, he can breathe properly. If he can breathe properly, he has more strength, he has more power to fight all the other problems. So we suggest the doctors, why don't we put back to the incubator for a few days until he gets stronger. And as soon as we can, we put him back to the children's bed outside the incubator. We gave them, we gave the doctors this idea and they upset it. They said, fine, it's a good idea, let's do it. After a few hours, my son was inside the incubator again. So our strategy, our idea is to give a little bit of rest to the lungs and to the baby and to the heart because basically if he's not, if he's not breathing properly, also the heart is, is beating too much. It's like a, he, he has tachycardia. When, it's, when he cannot breathe properly, he has tachycardia. It's all connected, you know? So at some point we thought that if we, if we can give him a little bit of oxygen, uh, we can give some rest to the lungs. At the same time, we help the heartbeat to be stable and um, these are the best conditions for him to fight alone against other problems like, like digestive system, missing iron on the blood and etc. That's what we did. He's now in the, in the incubator. He seems to be better. He's definitely more active and uh, he definitely has more power. So apparently our strategy, our strategy is working so far, but uh, the goal is to take away the incubator from him as quicker, as faster as we can. This is it. Taking the decision to put him back to the incubator was not easy. Actually it was really hard because for us that we are his parents is like a step backwards. Every day we wake up, every day we go in the hospital, we dream that he can do step forward every single minute, every single day. That's why putting back in the incubator, our decision to put him back to the incubator was really hard to do it because if doctor said that, if doctor say to us we need to put him back to the incubator it's, it's still hard but you know it's not our choice but your choice to put your son on a step backward is 
It's hard. I think that if we want to really help him, we need to accept the idea that we cannot win every day. Sometimes you need to lose. The, the, I think that the important thing is to keep focused on the, on the main goal, on the final goal, and do everything you can do in order to reach it. At the end of the day, the fight of my son is like everybody's life. I think that sometimes in life you need to lose if you want to win. See you tomorrow.